Which is simply by on the dog. So Jack's going out to the right side of the sheep and he'll move the sheep towards me. Come back Jack. Stay. Stay. Round. So now we've gone out to the left side of the sheep. Go back. So now we'll get him to move into the shed. Go back, Jack. Round. Go back. Now it is very important when you work the dogs and they do a good job, you reward the dogs. To do that, we just give them a pat. Come here, Jack. Sit. Good boy, Jack. And that signs him off. Now you may be wondering, what is the horse doing out there? Nothing at all. The dogs do the mustering, so what's the purpose of the horse? Simply supply transport for the stockman or the stock lady carrying on next to the dog or sheep to control the mustering. Now the sheep that Jack brought in here, these are girls, female sheep called ewes. We have two boys here, so I'll introduce them. Here they come. Now this is Trev, he's a young one. And this is the old boy, this is Pete. And these are called rams. And the reason we have the rams is so they can breed with the ewes to make more sheep, of course. Now when the stop was out mustering on the horse, he likes to have morning and afternoon tea, just like we all do. And the traditional tea the stockman has is called Bowie tea. This is tea that's brewed in a Bowie. Now this is the Bowie here. It doesn't matter what tea you put in here, it's always Bowie tea. The stockman will hop off his horse, he'll build a fire on the ground, place the Bowie full of water directly into the fire. When the water's boiled, he'll throw some tea in there. Pick up the Bowie now, full of boiling tea, and swing the dilly like this. Swinging the dilly is a strange tradition. There's a very practical reason for it. It forces the tea leaves immediately to the bottom of the dilly. The same force that keeps the water in there, so the tea leaves at the bottom, the stockman gets a clean cup of tea very quickly. There's a good reason for him to do it. 